Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess, and today we're doing a January recap of my reading journal. This is my 2024 reading journal, and we're going to take a peek inside. So the first section that we come to is my year at a glance or perpetual calendar. And I use this to track the books that I read when I start and when I finish. Um, and in January, I read nine books, which is a lot for me. This is my January currently page. My reading goal was eight this month. And um, even that I kind of felt like was a stretch goal, but uh, I ended up reading nine books. I read every day and I read 2,904 pages. We get to my monthly and in here again I show when I start a book and I use washi to show how long it took to read that book. So you can see all the books that I read and how long it took to read each one. Next we're going to get into the books that I read and uh, my reviews of them. So the first book that I read was Hidden Pictures. This was a thriller. Um, this was about a girl that is just newly sober. I think she was in her early 20s maybe. And she gets a job as a nanny for a five-year-old boy. And like shortly after she starts working for the family, she notices that the boy is drawing like super creepy pictures and is telling her about a woman that lives under her bed. Um, so that's pretty much all that I can say without ruining the story for you. But um, this one was really good. I gave this one five stars. And uh, my quote for this book was, we don't know how much our bodies can endure until we make cruel demands of them. The second book that I read was Keep It in the Family. Um, this was also a thriller. And um, I, I really liked this book. It was a really good book. Um, John Mars, I, um, I think this may have been the first book that I read by this author, um, but I really like um, his writing. It's super twisted and super creepy, um, and I have to give a major trigger warning um, for this book. Uh, it discusses death of children, so um, a major trigger warning here. This book is about a young couple that buys a house um, at an auction and it's an old house and it's in terrible shape and it needs a tons of tons of repairs and renovations. Um, and during the like sort of the beginning of the renovation, they discover something horrific in the attic. And um, this book is full of twists and turns and um, it really kept me on the edge of my seat. Uh, I think I finished this book in a couple of days. It was really good. Uh, the quote that I have for this one is, everyone except their family soon forgets about a missing child. And me, I remember every one of them because I'm the bait that lures them here. The next book that I read was a romance novel and definitely after reading Keep It in the Family, I needed something a little lighter. So I chose a romance, All Your Perfects. Um, this one I really enjoyed. I gave it four and a half stars. And typically for romance novels, I don't rate them that high. So I did really like this book. Um, this one also has a trigger warning or I have to give a trigger, trigger warning for this book. Um, this one discusses both like infertility and infidelity. So um, trigger warning here. Um, this, this book starts with a woman going to her fiance's apartment. She's going to surprise him and she sees this man pacing the halls and right outside the apartment and she learns that her fiance is cheating with this man that's outside the apartment um, with his girlfriend. Um, and then the two later meet and fall in love. Um, there's a lot of heartbreak though in this book, a lot of heavy feelings, um, but I, I did enjoy reading it. The quote that I have for this book is, um, I know my life as a whole hasn't been perfect, but I'm finally starting to appreciate all the perfect things within it. The next book that I read was another John Mars book, and um, this was What Lies Between Us. Uh, this was another thriller, and um, I really liked this one too. I gave this one five stars. And this was uh, a book about a mother and daughter and their super twisted relationship and lots of secrets. Um, I This book was really good. Uh, the quote that I have for this one um, is, this is the best decision I can make after a series of catastrophically bad ones. The next book that I read was None of This Is True. This was also a thriller and I gave it four stars. 
Um, this book was good. I enjoyed it. It's about a um, really popular podcaster that meets a woman on her 45th birthday and they realize that they're birthday twins. They have the same birthday. Um, and she decides to make a podcast with her birthday twin, sort of, I guess, about the fact that they're birthday twins. And it ends up turning into like a true crime story. Not like true crime, true crime, like in the real world, but true crime, like in the book. Um, but this one was good. And my quote for this one was, as awful as it sounds, death is a clean break. There are no gray areas, no ambiguity. It's like a blank canvas in a way. Next, I read another Colleen Hoover romance novel. It was um, November 9. This one, uh, I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. It was about a guy and a girl that meet. Um, they meet the day that she is going to be moving from LA to New York City. So she's going to be moving across the country. They have this amazing day and amazing connection. And before she leaves, they decide that they're going to meet once a year for five years on this day, on November 9th. And I guess at the end of that five years, if they decide that they want to be together, then they'll be together. My quote for this book was, we're only given one mind and body at birth and they're the only ones we get. So it's up to us to, to take care of ourselves. The next book that I read was, I'm Glad My Mom Died. This was a memoir. Um, this one, I... I enjoyed it. Um, I gave it three stars. And the way that I rate my books, um, five stars is kind of like, uh, I couldn't put it down. It was, you know, that good that I just kept wanting to pick it up and read it. Um, four stars is this book was great. I would recommend it. Um, three stars is it was a really good book, but it wasn't amazing. And then two stars was I barely got through it. And one star would be I didn't finish it. So that's kind of how I, I rate my books. And I gave this one three stars. It's about um, Jeanette McCurdy and a story about how she became an actress and her relationship with her mom. This one has trigger warnings as well that I would like to give. Um, there are a lot of discussions of, I wouldn't call it like abuse, but um, just dysfunctional relationship uh, with a child and parent. And um, eating disorders uh, is another big trigger in this book. My quote for this book is, her happiness came at the cost of mine. I feel robbed and exploited. The next book that I read was Her Husband's Mistake. This was a thriller. And I gave this book three stars. This is kind of a low rating for me for a thriller book. It wasn't my favorite. I did like it, but it wasn't my favorite. This book was about a family that lives in England, the husband, wife, and two kids. And um, when they were younger and when the kids were like first born, they lived in New York City. Something really bad happened when they were there and they moved back to England and they have never gone to New York City since. Um, the, the kids are now older. They're, I think it's their 18 and 21st birthdays. And they wanted for their special birthdays to take a trip back to New York. They had always wanted to go back. And so um, they had kept begging and begging to go back to New York. And so their parents finally took them there. Um, and some bad stuff happened when they got there. So um, my quote for this book was, you don't appreciate how peaceful life was before you had something to feel guilty about. And by the time you do, it's too late to ever go back to how you were before. The last book that I read was Lessons in Chemistry. This was a tragic comedy. I didn't know that that genre um, existed, but that's what um, that's what it's categorized as. I gave this book four stars. I, I really enjoyed it. I actually watched the series on, I think it's Apple TV. Um, and I watched the series first, which I try not to do. If I'm gonna read a book, I'd like to read the book first before seeing the movie or watching um, the TV show. But I did end up watching the series first and I liked the book a lot better than the series. The series was great and, and I enjoyed it, but I, I did like the book better. Um, this book takes place in the 60s and it's about a scientist named Elizabeth Sott. Um, she's quirky and she meets a scientist named Calvin and she ends up on a cooking show. And uh, it's sort of a story about 
Elizabeth and her relationship with Calvin, um, but more about her. And um, I, I really liked it. It was it was a good book. The quote that I have for this book is: "People often underestimate what a pregnant woman is capable of, but people always underestimate what a grieving pregnant woman is capable of." So those were the nine books that I read. I have a few trackers. I have my reading 100 books and I colored in the nine books on my bookshelf. And the way that I'm gonna be coloring these books in is use the same color for the entire month. So when you glance at this at the end of the year, you'll see 12 different colors and you'll see how many books that I read each month. I thought that would be kind of cool. My next tracker is the Reading 100 books. This is from uh, Plan with Elise from her Etsy shop. And I think that this will look really cool once it's all filled out with these tiny little um, book covers. Oh, and I wanted to mention with this one, I didn't purchase this from anywhere. Um, I just made this myself on my computer. My Reading A to Z challenge, this was something that I wasn't sure how it was going to work. Um, instead of, I actually have a regular one, instead of just having like a A to Z challenge where you just write the book title on a line, I created these uh, like block letters where you could write the book title within the letter and then color it. Um, so it's been fun so far. Um, and I have what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters done. And the last tracker that I have is my books and pages. So in January, I read nine books um, and 2,904 pages. So that is it. That is my January recap of my reading journal. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have a book recommendation, I would love to hear it in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.